Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks to slay your wig application and have it looking like it's coming straight out of your scalp, honey. We're giving you natural, okay? <laughs> but no, seriously guys, I think this might be one of my best wig application I've ever done. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Oh hey Simba, my cat just wants to be a part of everything. He was so over me trying to be extra showing off my hair but yeah. Anyways, let's just jump into this video. So the wig that I'm rocking today, it is from Wig Encounters. And like always, I'm gonna put all the hair info in the description box down below. All right, so I'm gonna try this wig on just for you guys so you can see how it looks when you don't do any kind of customization to it. She's not bad at all, but we can make her look way better. The hair knots around the hairline is actually very, very small on this wig, almost invisible, but they're visible. And that's a good thing. However, once you part the wig, I notice that the knots are a bit bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots because I want this wig to look so natural that you're gonna be looking at it like, wow, it looks like it's coming from her scalp. <laughs> Now to bleach the knots, I use Salon Care Cream Developer in number 20 and the L'Oreal Bleach Powder. I do have very, very detailed videos on bleaching the knots and I'm gonna link one of those videos in the description bar down below. Okay, so I bleach the knots off camera and are you guys seeing the wig? The knots are invisible after bleaching. I can already tell that this wig is gonna look really good once I lay her down. Okay, I'm gonna put this wig on my wig canvas head and I'm gonna go ahead and pluck this hairline with my tweezer. Do you guys say pluck or tweeze? I say tweeze sometimes, but then I say pluck, but I'm not plucking chickens, so I don't know why I'm saying plucking. Anyways, <laughs> now this is completely optional, but we want our wigs to look flawless and not wiggy. So I got my tweezer and I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze around the hairline. So I'm gonna tweeze behind the hairline first actually. So I have my comb and I'm gonna part behind the hairline and make sure you have a good tweezer. So I'm tweezing behind the hairline. Do not tweeze on the part, you guys. Do not do that. If you tweeze on the part, you're gonna end up having ball spots and we don't want that on our wigs. I'm also gonna tweeze the actual hairline on this wig because it is a bit on the thick side and I want it to look natural. So this is the wig with the new hairline. Okay, okay, I'm feeling her. She's looking kind of cute now. Actually, she's not looking kind of cute. She looks cute. I can tell it's gonna look good when I put it on. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Babeless flat iron and straighten this hair. I don't use a lot of hair products in my wigs. I just use the iron hair serum to give the hair some shine. And I'm gonna speed through this part of the video because this video is mainly about customization and application. So, moving right along. Now, the lace on this wig needs some melanin and I'm gonna go in with my foundation powder and this is what I'm using to tint my lace. That way the lace matches my skin tone perfectly. I love working with HD lace and transparent lace because you can easily tint them to match any skin tone. I already have my wig cap on and my hair is braided underneath. I'm gonna be doing the ball cap method. Now this method is completely optional. I don't always do this because sometimes, honestly guys, I'm just lazy and I don't wanna do it. <laughs> but on days when I want my wigs to look super flawless and I want that scalp look and I want her to be laid down to perfection, I do this method and every time it looks good. I'm applying the got to be free spray on my wig cap. Once the spray is dry, I'm gonna go in with my scissors and cut away that extra wig cap because I don't need that anymore. Now that my wig cap looks like a ball cap, I'm ready to apply this wig. I forgot to mention that I have foundation all over my wig cap as well. That also helps my wig to look more natural and it gives that scalp look. Now I'm gonna go in with the Bolt Hole Skin Protector and this is just gonna protect my skin from the lace glue. I apply it first on my forehead on the areas that I'm gonna be placing the glue. Next, I'm gonna apply the lace glue along the forehead hairline area. Try to apply a thin layer. Sometimes I can be a little bit heavy handed, but we're gonna do a thin layer. So go on with a thin layer. And then I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb and just spread that glue along the forehead. You can let this air dry or go in with a blow dryer on the cool setting to speed up the drying process. I'm adding a second layer of glue for extra hold because I'm planning on wearing this wig for a couple of days. Sometimes when I film these videos, you guys, I take my wig off right after I film the video, but I want to keep this one on for a couple days. 
and again you also want to wait until the glue dries clear if it still looks white do not apply the lace on the glue your lace is gonna look a hot ass mess now I'm gonna pull that lace down and I'm gonna melt that lace into the glue I'm using my rat tail comb because it's my best friend right now and my blow dryer is on a cool setting and I'm just gonna melt down that lace melt it down now I'm gonna go in with my scissors and cut away the excess lace because we don't need that we're not gonna be walking around with that excess lace I'm gonna go in with the glue again because I missed some spots and just apply a thin layer of glue and again you just want to repeat the same steps you want to wait until the glue dries clear then go in with the rat tail comb and melt that lace down to cut my lace I like using an eyebrow razor and a scissors I use both now you're probably watching this and thinking damn this looks like a lot of work but guys keep in mind this wig has never been worn before so it may seem like a long process but I promise you you only have to cut the lace once once you cut that lace off this wig every time you go to apply your wig you don't have to do all this extra step this is a part that's a little bit more work Cutting the lace behind my ear is my least favorite step. I still get worried that I'm gonna mess the wig up. I don't know why. I've been doing this for so long and I've done this so many times but I just don't like doing this step on camera especially. Now I'm gonna repeat the same steps and apply the lace glue on the sides. Once again, you gotta let it dry clear and then melt that lace down. Okay guys, my wig is on and she's looking good. Not perfect, but good. I'm looking at the hair and I'm still thinking, hmm, it looks a bit thick around the hairline and the perfectionist in me wants it to look more realistic. So I'm gonna go in with my tweezer and tweeze behind the hairline some more. So I'm happy with how this wig is looking right now. I'm gonna go back in with the Got To Be Free Spray and spray behind the hairline. This is just gonna give my wig some extra hold. I also spray along the hairline as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer and my rat tail comb on what? A cool setting just to melt down that lace. Guys, are you seeing this wig? I think this is one of the best applications I've ever done. No baby hairs and this wig is looking flawless already and I haven't even melted it yet. Now I'm gonna flatten this wig cause I don't want it to look bulky and look like a hat sitting on my head. We want it to look flat. So I'm using a hair stick and this also helps to get rid of any frizz or flyaways. And then you wanna go in with a hot comb. A hot comb is a must for me. It's really gonna have your wig looking laid and flat. Baby hairs are always optional. When I wear my natural hair, I don't really rock heavy baby hairs. I don't really think it suits me, so I like to do the same with my wigs and do very subtle and natural looking baby hairs. Again, this is something that is optional. This wig is so laid, I don't really have to do baby hair. But if you love baby hairs, girl, go ahead, do you. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and cut some small, tiny little baby hairs. And then I'm gonna take my edge brush and add some hair mousse to it and apply it to the baby hairs. I used to apply so much hair mousse before, but I just think it's just not necessary and I don't want my hair to feel hard either. So I use such a small amount of the hair mousse. Now you wanna go in with a hair scarf. I'm using pantyhose and I think it works just as well, just as good as a satin scarf. So I'm gonna tie my wig down and leave this on for about 10 minutes. Honey, she is laid like what? Are you guys seeing this hairline? What lace is? We don't know her, she does not exist. <laughs> okay guys, let me stop being extra. Okay Simba, just casually walk in front of me like I'm not filming a whole video. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some foundation powder. I like using foundation powder instead of concealer just to go in on that part, just to make it look more natural. And you guys, this is how she is looking. Let me get up close and personal so you guys can see her. This wig is melted down. She is laid down for perfection. And yeah guys, this is pretty much the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was really helpful to you guys. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye.